This man is behind bars. He's accused of posing as a University of North Florida softball coach. Why? To seek underage softball players for more than just scholarships. 42-year-old Jason Ford is charged for trying to entice a minor to engage in sexual activity. And documents show Ford was arrested in May following an FBI investigation. News 4 Jax reporter Corley Peel is live to show us what we know about the accused imposter. Corley. Ford posed as the assistant softball coach here at UNF and as a softball coach at the University of South Carolina. But in real life, he's an aide at an Alabama high school and owns his own select softball organization. I spoke with a parent and a coach who says this is extremely upsetting for parents who trust their kids coaches. Jason Ford is a trusted owner of the Elite Lady Sox Fast Pitch 18 and under. According to these comments, parents wrote on the softball organization's website. You can hear him in this training video encouraging a player. Good, nice. That was real nice. Had a girl. Now Ford is in jail after police say the Northview High School aide posed as UNF's assistant softball coach to solicit teens for sex. UNF police received six reports of the impersonations beginning early last year through November. Benjamin Ballard is a coach and a parent and finds Ford's actions to be disturbing. As a dad, that is the scary part when you trust someone to be with your child and to help develop them as an athlete. And as a, a male coach who works with female athletes and male athletes to train them and work with them, you have to have that relationship where parents can trust you. Documents showed that Ford used several prepaid phones and email accounts to contact the underage softball players and even asked for their clothing size. The FBI began investigating posing as a 15 year old softball player striving for a scholarship. Agents say Ford asked for explicit photos and videos in exchange for $30 worth of Amazon gift cards. Investigators learned where he bought the gift cards and arrested Ford at his Alabama home. And I'm so glad that someone found out before, um, you know, something seriously happened. Ballard says he hopes parents and athletes will recognize red flags in the future, that a coach will never text or email an athlete about a scholarship offer. Ford is being held in Miami federal prison without bond. If he's convicted, he could face up to 15 years in prison. Reporting live from UNF, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.